So recently I posted this video about the Fuji X-Pan, Fuji GFX, exposing its virtues as use as a digital X-Pan, shooting in panoramic mode. And to my surprise, that's probably the fastest I've had a video hit a thousand views. Wow. So obviously that's a sign of what the people want. So today, instead of just talking the talk, I'm gonna, how they say, walk the walk. And we're just gonna have a nice winter stroll with the Fuji GFX in panoramic mode and just uh, see what we can see. Take some pictures and show you how awesome it is. And I have already spotted something pretty amazing on the horizon. You can't see it from here, but one, one moment once I find a way over this snow. <clears throat> Didn't dunk the camera. Ooh. Right there. So normally, the mighty basketball hoop is firmly in the world of stuff you only shoot on film. But much like Bob Dylan going electric, we need to make some advancements in the art of hooptography. So that's why I'm going to, with the digital Fuji, shoot this basketball hoop and, and break new grounds. So from this angle, it's kind of nice, but you can see that school in the background and that just doesn't have the kind of a desolate, isolated basketball hoop vibe I'm going for. So we're gonna swing around and aim from this way where it's just all forest in the background and that'll make it feel abandoned. So this is nice, but I think I need to get closer. Oh, yes. Now this is what photography is supposed to be about. The simple things in life. I think we're gonna call this picture Hoop Dreams. Yes. Let's keep walking. You know, it's really kind of amazing just how diverse amount of subjects and what you find just walking around, how well they look when you're shooting in a panoramic mode, which is why it's probably really gonna blow your mind that I've, 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 I found more hoops and I, there's, there's square hoops and the old fashioned hoops and um, it's just, just too many hoops to pick from, you know? It's, it's, it's amazing, the diversity of basketball hoops. My first instinct is to shoot this one because it's kind of backlit and cool and you got these shadows on the ground. But then I look over here and it's like basketball hoop, feet, I mean, shoes hanging from a wire plus like church off in the distance. What kind of hoop dream smorgasbord is this? I think we're gonna hit this one. Oh, oh. Getting the perfect angle is always the hardest part of any photo adventure. What if I kneel? Oh, that's nice. Oh, right there, we got the, the back, the tree in the background behind the hoop, looking like it's a hoop haircut. I think this might be my state fair submission for the year. Pretty darn amazing if you ask me. And I think we're gonna title this one Hoop dreams. Hi, it's uh, me from the later editing session of this video, and I just got to the part where this next scene should exist, but I discovered that the GoPro footage, the files, are only 27 kilobytes long. And if you know anything about video, that is not right at all for anything that's a couple minutes long. So they got corrupted. Ugh. So instead, how about we just 
shut our eyes and I will discuss what the footage would have been about and you can imagine it in your head. Okay, so it opens, I'm standing next to my camera, looking up at the sky, and then I look at the camera and I say something like, did you really think I was gonna troll you this whole video with photographs of nothing but basketball hoops? And then I turn the camera to show you that I'm now standing underneath a freeway overpass, and I have the camera aimed down at the, the columns and the concrete of the road that's passing over me. This is possibly like some of the most amazing footage you've ever seen. Imagine like the best movie, the most incredible cinematography you've ever seen. This is just way better than that. It's, it's so impressive. I'm really mad the files got corrupted. But anyways, this cinematic masterpiece is gone, but I still take the picture and it looks like this. Um, open your eyes, it's on the screen now. Oh no. Oh no. The, there, there, there's, there's desolate hoops under an overpass. This, oh no. Oh no. I, I can't, I can't. I, I, God damn it, God. Can I resist this kind of shit? Become a photographer, they say. You'll never look at basketball hoops again, they'll say. Well, maybe, maybe, maybe hoop dreams are the way the world is supposed to be seen. And people who can't see a damn hoop dream and understand how important it is need people like me to get up there and show them the freaking hoop dreams so that the world can be a better place. We're gonna call this one hoop dreams, if you haven't figured that out. I mean, there's really only one title that works for these, so you kind of have to keep using it over and over. One of the many pillars of snapshot photography, I think, is um, vintage bikes. So we got this vintage bike in the snow of all places. So I need to I need to crack a snapshot of that real quick. Just hang on. How about we get a little bit landscapey with a frozen dock and a frozen Pond. This will be the kind of photo you can make money off of if I don't die getting down here. <laughs> step, step, step. Oh, look at that. I lived. And for this photo, I'm gonna have to unleash the um, fine art of the plonk. Brace yourself. Here it comes. I hope I'm in the frame. Legs up, plonk. Get some trees in the corner of this picture to make it feel extra epic. Oh yeah. And that's how we do photography. Plonk. Okay, so. I think I'm gonna have to end this video soon. I wasn't planning on making this an epic and it's getting to be like above 40 degrees. I am way overdressed and too hot. And I hope this was just a good little, little sampling of what the, the Fuji GFX can do as a digital 